YouTube. <clears throat> I don't know what has been in this video so far or what else is going to be in the video or if this is just going to be it. But I wanted to get on here, do a little like improvement season update, kind of where I'm at. And I had told you guys that I got my food intolerance test done. I got my blood drawn for it and I got my results back. And this is just page one and all of those lines are very scary looking. So, um, I walked in and my doctor was like, well, you're either gonna love me or you're gonna hate me. <laughs> so I knew there was some stuff. Um, I mean, I knew that this test was gonna show results. I kind of had a feeling of on a bunch of it. <clears throat> but like I said, um, I've always had digestive issues since I was like 16. Uh, doctors have always told me that I'm perfectly healthy um, and so I just kind of took their word for it and just continued like living my life eating whatever I wanted and not really thinking much of it just thinking those stomach aches were kind of just how my body was functioning but then when I got into prep and started getting more in tune with my body I finally was like you know what this is not right found my naturopath did a test. Um, the second she heard my dad had thyroid issues, first thing she tested, lo and behold, my thyroid was basically dysfunctional on its own when we tested it the first time. Got on medication, thought that was my issue, um, and it's slowly been improving even, even in my dieting phase. So now that we are slowly increasing my food, we are hoping that my thyroid increases even more. I got my levels tested again when I went over these results with my doctor, so I'm waiting on those results to come back and I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, but even with my thyroid increasing and my medication, I still am having like really bad digestive issues. So me and my doctor were like, okay, something else is still going on in your body. There's something still wrong. It's not happy. So. She had two options she wanted to do. She wanted to do a food intolerance test and a small intestine bacteria test. We decided because they both are a little costly, my insurance did not cover them. Um, so we decided to start with the food intolerance test because that's something that I can fix basically on my own. I could take immediate action on it once I got the results. So we did the blood draw on the 31st and I just reviewed them with her. I just did the common food panel. I can do an extended panel if I decide to, but we're going to start with this and see how much this improves. I am going back in a month um, after I have kind of started to eliminate these foods and see how it's been improving my digestion. And if I still feel like there's something going on, we are going to move forward with that small intestine bacteria test. She is thinking it's a possibility that I do have small intestine bacteria overgrowth. It sounds disgusting. So let's hope that's not the case. Let's hope this is the answer to all of my prayers. Fingers crossed. So I kind of wanted to show you guys what I got. So this is page one. It basically has the result, the food, and kind of a reference range of like how bad it is for your body and how much of a struggle it is for your body to digest. Um, so red equals just avoid at all costs. Yellow was a moderate intolerance. So basically like if you can control it, don't have it. If you do have it, it's not really the end of the world. And then blue is good to go. You can eat it. So again, these are intolerances. They're not full blown allergies. So if I'm out and I do have it, I have been eating a lot of these foods and I'm not having those crazy like allergic, I'm not like throwing up or I'm not like feeling dizzy or anything from these foods. My stomach just gets really upset and my body cannot process these foods well. My body just doesn't function well, has a hard time digesting, which explains why every time I eat, my stomach feels like it blows up like a balloon and it sits there for hours and just doesn't do anything. <laughs> so, um, so I got, I forget how many foods, I think there's like, 95 or something on this test but got this page of foods and this page of foods and then they basically kind of give you this is for people that probably like aren't as familiar with building a diet it gives you kind of like a three-day breakdown of a diet on how you can utilize these foods and then it just gives you a summary of okay foods moderate foods to avoid and then your red just like 
Uh, boy to boy to boy. So, I wanted to go over my list with you guys. So, my major foods to avoid are almonds, egg yolk, beef, goat's milk, casein, so casein protein powder, anything like that, kidney beans, cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, cottage cheese, basically any dairy. Whey, so no whey protein, no, whey, no protein bars with whey in them, no cow's milk, and egg whites. So I kind of had a feeling about the dairy, but I never really like fully cut it out. Um, so going to be doing that. That is my main concern. Almonds, I don't eat that much of, but a lot of the stuff that is dairy free is they use almond milk. So I really got to watch that. Um, really going to start. I use cashew milk, but um, really got to pay attention to that. Um, beef, it's not, I love steak. I'm really sad, but I don't have it a lot in my diet. Um, casein and whey, got to get rid of all my protein and my protein powder, protein powders, protein bars, Halo Top, Arctic Zero. Now, my doctor did say, like, again, these are intolerances. She's like, you can have it here and there. It's not going to, like, hurt you, but just know your body has a hard time digesting and try to take it out of your, like, everyday diet because right now I am having Halo Top and Arctic Zero pretty regularly, or I was. I was eating dairy really regularly, so I'm really going to try to cut that out. Um, I was like, what am I going to do with all of my food? I have so much food that has this stuff in it. Um, so I'm getting rid of all my dairy stuff. I'm taking it down to my family. And when I go to the grocery store, I am going to be very conscious about what I buy. Make sure it's dairy free. Um, and then just go on from there. So moving on to my moderate foods. Um, my moderate foods that I can have, I can have, but it's just my body doesn't do the best on them. Avocado, which I was eating a ton of that yuktang, yuktang guacamole, like every day almost. Wheat, banana, buffalo, gluten, green beans, and pineapple. <clears throat> so the wheat and gluten thing, I actually was paleo for like two and a half years, and I was very strict on the gluten thing, but I wasn't as strict on the dairy. Uh, and then about like a year and a half to two years ago when I started tracking macros, I was and got off the paleo thing. I just didn't really pay attention to the gluten thing anymore because I didn't think it was an issue for me, um, which clearly I was wrong. So I have been eating that for about two and a half years again. And thinking back, like I did feel a lot better when I didn't have it in there. So I do have a lot of food still in my house that do have gluten in them. I'm not going to throw away hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of food. So I'm going to continue eating the foods that I have, but when I do go out to eat or if there's a gluten-free option and when I do go grocery shopping for new food, I am going to make sure that they are gluten and dairy-free. Um, banana and pineapple, those are like two of my favorite fruits, so I'm a little sad about that. But um, I don't eat them on the regular, so that should be okay. Avocado, I'm really sad, but I'm not going to like stock up on my Yuktan guacamole. Um, but you can just, it's just what I'm used to right now. So I can get used to something new. Um, so those are the main foods that I am going to be cutting out of my diet. I have been on the hunt for good dairy free cheese. I did pick up some, I, I could be butchering this brand. It's by, I think like field roast or field roasters and it's called like chow cheese. They have their own like creamery. It's out of tofu. So I picked up a pack of that. I picked up another pack of like dairy-free cheddar cheese. I know I don't really like the Daya brand. I have tried that before. Um, I've heard Follow Your Heart is good, so I'm on the lookout for that. Um, I love Beyond Beef Crumble, so I'm going to be using those. I'm okay with soy, so that is good. Um, I love the, I think it's like Corin or Coral. Uh, beefless strips. I think I've shown those on here. So I'm going to pick up some of those since I cannot have beef. Um, I picked up some tofu sour cream and cream cheese. I can, I think it's like tof, Tofiti is the brand or something like that, but it's like better than sour cream and better than cream cheese. I tried the cream cheese yesterday on some rice cakes and it's actually, it's actually pretty good. Kind of reminds me of the whipped cream cheese that I used to eat. So those seem okay. I'm trying the sour cream tonight. 
Um, so I'm slowly gonna be taking that out of my diet. So I'm excited to see kind of how my body reacts and the improvements as I fully get this all out of my system. I'll keep you guys updated. Paul was excited to see that um, I did get the results and that there are some things I can change to really help improve my digestion because in turn, when my digestion is better, it's gonna make prep a heck of a lot easier next next year and he won't get emails like, my digestion was not the greatest this week because I think I said that almost every single email. I still say it in my improvement check-in emails. So. I'm excited to put this to use. Um, I may do a grocery haul of some of the stuff I get this week. Um, that is my plan, so stay tuned for that. Uh, improvement season update, I'm a little bit, so my show was July 15th and it is now August 25th, so I'm about a month and 10 days post show. Um, my weight is still, not that it matters, um, we are still slowly putting on weight, um, but putting it on at a speed that we are comfortable with. Uh, I'm slowly increasing my calories each week. This week, I heard back from Paul earlier today, we increased my carbs and my fats five grams. So that puts me at 197 carb, 70 fat, and 140 protein. We are not carb cycling yet. I don't have refeeds. That is just my everyday macro count that I am hitting. Um, the food feels good. I'm having to remember what it's like to eat higher fat meats and actual higher carb foods like choosing potatoes instead of butternut squash. I still haven't got into that habit, but I'm gonna add potatoes on my grocery list this week. I actually picked up some of the Simply Hash Browns. I love those, and they keep in the freezer so they don't go bad um, because it is just me. So if I buy like big things of potatoes, they sometimes go bad before I finish them. And I also bought the Simply um, Red Potatoes. So I've been using those too. I still love my butternut squash. I love my spaghetti squash. I've been eating um, some oats. But once those are gone, I'm gonna switch back over to gluten-free oats. Uh, I still am eating cream of wheat, but once what I have is gone, I'm gonna try to switch over to cream of rice. And I actually bought cream of buckwheat from um, Thrive Market. I did order a trial package from Thrive Market because they do have a lot of low cost, like vegan, gluten-free, and paleo items. Um, so I'm trying out them, and I'm also gonna try out Vitacost because one of my teammates, Alyssa, works for them and she was like, girl, Thrive Market, what are you doing? Go over to Vitacost. We have all of them. We have everything too. So I'm gonna try those two out. Um, I went to Central Market right by my house and kind of checked that out. So gonna be checking out, finding some new goodies. If you have any um, vegan favorites, not that I'm going vegan, but a lot of the vegan stuff I am gonna be buying. Dairy-free, gluten-free options, definitely let me know. I just have to make sure there's not almond or beef stuff in it. I did order PE Science uh, Select Vegan Protein to try that out. I do have NutraKey's V-Pro um, Vegan Protein that I know I've showed before. I baked with it this morning and it baked great. So I love that one, but I wanna try a few new ones out. I do kind of wanna make sure that the carbs stay low because that is something on vegan proteins. They do kind of tend to add up on that end. But other than that, if you guys have suggestions, definitely leave it, um, let me know, leave them in the comments down below send me um, a message on Instagram or whatever. I would love to hear your suggestions. Um, but other than that, I did film my workout today because I did a takeover of Magnitude Life Science Instagram. So if you guys uh, did not tune into that, I'll put my full workout in this as well. It was back, arms, and calves, and I did some abs at the end and some cardio, so it was an awesome workout. I am headed home this weekend, so I'm gonna prep some food um, and I'm still taking my one free day a week. Um, I have been experiencing still a lot of water retention after my free meals. We're trying to keep them in, seeing if my body um, adjusts, which I think a lot of the reasoning is because my free meals have tended to be really high in dairy and really high in gluten. So I'm gonna try to watch that this week. Um, and I did buy some glycolog from um, Blackstone. Actually, Justin, who owns Magnitude Life Science, he just opened his own supplement store, um, Alpha Fitness Supplements, I've called, and he carries Blackstone, so he's actually the one that sent it to me. I'm excited to try that and see if that helps me kind of process the carbs and sodium better um, and the glycogen. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Other than that, I'm feeling good. I'm excited to see and put these changes to use, but just wanted to get on here and give you guys a little update. This is now almost 15 minutes long. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys.
August 26th or no it's the 27th I just got back from the grocery store and I did a haul and I wanted to show you guys what I am doing to keep my diet egg and dairy free beef free and almond free and then mainly gluten free um, so let's take a look and see what I got so here's the grocery haul today gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be eating and some fines to keep my diet mainly dairy free or completely dairy free Completely beef free, completely almond free, and mostly gluten free. So, what I got here, you already know shredded lettuce, butternut squash, tomatoes, mushrooms. I got some tofu. Um, sometimes I like to add tofu in here and there. Um, and then these are some of my favorite uh, meatless, and these are both for like beef substitutes. So this is Beyond Beef. I love they're just plain crumbles. This is the Fiesta or Feisty Beyond Beef crumbles. They're a little bit higher in fat than the normal. They are three fat, so 13 protein and one carb. These are so good. The Corin Beef Strips. These are some of my new finds. This is the Tofiti or tofuti, tofuti cream cheese, really good. Tofuti sour cream, and then um, tofuti American cheese slices. And then this is chow or cow, or I'm not quite sure, but it's by Field Roast. I got their um, original creamy, and then this is the tomato cayenne. And then I also got some dairy-free um, ice cream because I'm going to miss my Halo Top and Arctic Zero so much. Um, macros on this, obviously not as macro friendly, but I think I can mix them with some protein ice cream that I'll be making with my vegan protein. I do have that B Pro protein, and then I ordered some of the PE Science Peanut Butter Cup, the select vegan series that they came out with. So this is 12 fat, 24 carb, and 1 protein for 85 grams. And then this one is actually their no sugar added, so it's a little bit better. This is the, just the chocolate. Uh, so this is 8 fat, 18 carb, and 1 protein for 85 grams. So going to be trying those out. I actually had this cookie dough one. I had like a little bit of it last night um, with my cream meal. I also got some polenta. I've never cooked with it, but I actually really do like polenta. And the macros on this were not too bad. And 0 fat, 15 carb, 2 protein. So I'm going to try this this week with like some ground turkey and maybe some like pasta sauce and some um, veggies mixed in and then I also got some corn tortillas to use for my nacho chips instead of the flat out breads um, to try to keep it mainly gluten free again gluten was one of my moderate intolerances so I can kind of have it it says like every four days is what it says but I'm gonna try when I'm cooking to keep mainly gluten free especially once I get all of my stuff with gluten out of the house. And then I got some frozen sweet potatoes just to have for good carb sources. Um, I got some of these like mini rice cakes to use for some protein ice cream toppers. I got apple and blueberry. And then I haven't had a Lenny and Larry's cookie in so long. So I just got one of those because they're on sale. And then I wanted some new hot sauce. So this is jalapeno hot sauce. I'm excited to try that. Zero everything. Got some more coffee for home and work. Got some of my favorite Mio's. This is like my ultimate favorite flavor, the strawberry watermelon by Kroger. But the orange tangerine is also really good. And then I also got some Zevia. I wanted the cream soda one. They're completely out, so I got Dr. Zevia. Got some water. And then I also got some more cream of rice. So that is what I am working with this week. So I'm going to 
stick this chicken. Oh, and I got chicken. <laughs> I didn't show you that. I'm gonna stick this chicken in the crock pot and then shred it up after it cooks for about six hours on low. I'm gonna cook some butternut squash and some spaghetti squash and some ground turkey. So I'm gonna get to that and I hope everybody has a fantastic Sunday. Shadow to the sun.